I have a hard enough time choosing between original and red pepper hummus. So when it comes to choosing between high-end Taylor guitars, I'm definitely gonna need some help here. Taylor has been nice enough to send me two guitars, uh, a 614 CE Builder's Edition and a 517 E Builder's Edition Grand Pacific, and I get to keep one of them. So I kind of want to have you guys help me just decide which one sounds better, uh, would be better for videos and stuff. So we're going to do a shootout. Now, full disclosure, the strings on this one are about two weeks younger than the strings on this one. So I guess some people might get upset about that, but whatever. I'm gonna mic all the stuff up. You're gonna hear uh, a combination of it just being mic'd in stereo. Uh, I'm gonna have some of it just be the DI cut in and out, stuff like that too. It'll all be on the screen. But yeah, basically we're deciding between a slightly, uh, slightly less than Dreadnought style Sitka spruce top uh, with mahogany back and sides versus a Sitka spruce top with maple back and sides and a cutaway. So definitely check it out uh, after the sound example. This is one of my original songs, by the way. And then I'm just gonna play some kind of like, I'm just gonna play the melody of the song over it on top of it, just so you hear what uh, the single notes sound like to you. I'll come back and give you my complete thoughts and a little bit more about the differences between the two. So one thing I don't love about some acoustic guitars is how bright they are. Now, if we have like the 517, for instance, right? I think this is like a great balanced, a little more mid-range. You would think that this one would be much brighter, which... It definitely is, but it's not bright in like the traditional sense of what I always kind of equate like harsh brightness to be. I just feel like maybe this one has a little more clarity over the 517. Now, this one, the 517, so good, right? Back to... 
Now, I volume matched uh, the stuff that you already heard. I had to maybe boost this one two decibels. Well, actually, I just cut like 2 dB off of that one, which you'd expect because, you know, it's a, it's a bigger guitar, essentially, so it's going to make a little bit more noise, but not as much of a volume difference as I originally suspected. Uh, a few other... Uh, maybe upgrades on this one is the beveled arm rest and cutaway and for me That's a that's a pretty big factor because I actually kind of do play up here in a lot of the the shows that I'll do So that that kind of has me leaning more towards the 614 uh, The tuners I think are like a really big upgrade I'll put a picture of them up because uh, the goto tuners on this one are really great uh, as compared to just like the regular Taylor locking tuners, which are great, they're fantastic, but uh, I definitely think that this one has the upgrade. Uh, you know what I was really impressed by was the ES2 amplification system, right? Uh, you heard a little bit of it in the uh, in the demo there, but I also played a show with this one. I remember I had to roll a little bit back of the highs because you just basically have like uh, bass treble and volume. I rolled a little bit back on the highs, and I'm super impressed with the the tightness of the bass response in these pickup systems across the board. Uh, really, really a huge win for that. Honestly, I think they kind of play pretty pretty identical. Uh, you know, there's other there's other differences for sure, like the hard shell case. Okay, as for the hard shell cases, I definitely think that the 517 case is the clear winner here. Superior case. This thing is like fantastic. I love it. Uh, the 617, it's great. It's cool. Brown. Very understated. Gets the job done. Uh, if you open it up, very cool. Old Dracula coffin action right there. And it is the same here. But I definitely think, uh, you know, I'm a big fan of the hard shell cases. I've rocked the other one for a long time and it's still, uh, still looking good. But I definitely think the 517 cases pretty awesome. And also, I really think that the figured maple on the back and sides of this, big leaf maple, by the way, if you watch the live unboxing for this, I termed the coin big leaf maple energy, which I'm getting a lot of big leaf maple energy from that one, as compared to kind of like the understated uh, mahogany back and sides, which is really beautiful on here. But I think it just pops a little bit more on the 614. So yeah, uh, again, I'm personally leaning towards the 614 a little bit more. Uh, it is more expensive. I think that one's like $39.99 as compared to $29.99 for the Builder's Edition. But price isn't something I really care about because they're just giving me one. So I just want the one that's going to sound better. And honestly, to, to my ear, they both sound phenomenally well. There are, there are slight differences for sure, but I don't think it's like anything too drastic. They're both just really fantastic guitars. And I think it kind of comes down to personal taste, but definitely... Let me know what you guys think, and uh, yeah, in the comments or whatever, and uh, hopefully we'll have a winner very soon. Thanks for checking it out.